Hey friends, in this tutorial I will show you guys how to perform encryption and decryption using private keys and public keys in Python. So let's get started. Now in here I have already typed the script. So the first four lines in here, it, the, what it does is that it imports some of the modules that we will need. The first one is the default backend module. We need it because whenever we are interacting with open SSL implementations, we have to use default backend. Then we are importing this hashes function. We need hashes because whenever you are using public key and private key encryption, hashes are involved. This serialization function, we use this because whenever we are using this private and public key certificates, serialization function is needed. Padding function is needed whenever you are trying to pad a text. So some encryption algorithms, they read text as blocks of, let's say, 16 bytes, 32 bytes, or 8 bytes. So that's what it, this... Um, padding function does is that it pads the text to make sure they are in blocks of let's say 16 bytes now the first thing in here what I do is that I import sorry when I open this private key in here so this is our private key let me open this so this is the private key that I will use to encrypt text with or decrypt text with so it depends on the functionality that I'm using so in here I'm saying open it and RB stands for read bytes and then I'm creating this variable called private key and as I said this serialization is used to read the private key for this password I'm specifying none because I haven't associated any password with my private key however if you have done that what you do is that you type your password in here but make sure that your password is in the bytes format and in here you can see that this variable that I'm creating public key so let me explain this first in here there is only this private key there is no public key so this public key I'm creating this variable and I'm saying private key which I created in here so I'm creating this public key from this private key what I do is that I read this private key and I generate a public key using this private key because I don't have currently a private key in here then there is this message that I want to encrypt so the message is the secret key is very secret so this is what I want to encrypt and then I'm creating the ciphertext variable that will hold the encrypted text and here I'm saying public key dot encrypt so as you might know in a public key and private key encryption you use the public key to encrypt and the private key to decrypt or the private key to encrypt or the public key to decrypt so the thing is that whenever you are uh, encrypting with one key you can only decrypt with the other key you usually what you do is that you encrypt it public key and you uh, decrypt it with private key because only the person who has this key or to whom this key belongs has the private key but the public key is out there everyone has it so the public key is usually used to encrypt text and the private key is used to decrypt it so the important thing is that what you use um, to encrypt you cannot use the same thing to decrypt so the public key in here is encrypting it the message in here that we specify it is using padding and this SHA-1 algorithms for hashing and in here I'm saying print the ciphertext that we created so let me first uh, comment these lines out and these lines I will explain it in a few seconds so now if I run this code we can see that this shows me uh, the encrypted string so this is what happens when you encrypt it so this is uh, what we used to encrypt text and let me copy it let me open this atom paste it so this is our encrypted text the secret key is very secret this is the simple text this is the encrypted text let's make a small change in here and let's run it again notice that this time that I run it let me copy it again and paste it the key is completely different so whenever even if you make a small change the key gets completely changed so this way it's not easy to understand how the key is being implemented and get cracked so this makes it very difficult because adding a small change will change the whole thing that we have now this at the end that I'm what I'm doing is that I'm saying so let me first uncomment it in here I'm creating this variable called plain text now plain text is used to decrypt the text so this is what this variable will hold that's why I'm saying private key that we specified up here this private key I'm saying use this private key to decrypt notice previously I said public key encrypt 
now I am seeing private key decrypt so what you encrypted with public key you can only decrypt using the private key so I'm saying private uh, sorry decrypted decrypt what the cipher text this was the one that I'm specifying decrypt this and use this show one functions because we use them uh, to decrypt it as well and then I at the end I say uh, print the plain text so let me run this in here so now you can see that it not only shows me the encrypted text because we specified it in here to print it now we are also printing the plain text so this is how you can encrypt and decrypt text using public and private keys now there's another thing that we can do in here so this is this so let me uncomment it cut it and what we can do is let me paste it in here so this is what I did uh, in here what I did was I read this private key in here and I generated a public key from it but let's say we don't have a private key so let me delete this for now being so we don't have a private key so what do we do then okay let me comment these lines out so what does this line do this line it is saying private key this variable is equal to RSA dot generate private key so if you don't have a private key what it will do is that it will generate a private key for you using this uh, function sorry this parameters in here that we specify so if you don't have a private key it doesn't matter Python can create private key for you and in here the our public key what it will do is that our public key again can uh, read this private key that we generate and generate a public key from it it doesn't matter you can either read it from here or you can generate it in the runtime or whenever you're running this code however there is one thing that you have to remember and that is you have to import another function so from cryptography hazmat primitives asymmetric import rsa so let me type import and then rsa this serialization you don't need because you're not reading a certificate anymore so let's run this you can see that this time our text has been encrypted and also decrypted so you either have a private key use this you don't have a private key generate it it doesn't matter do whichever one suits you so this is it for this tutorial guys if you have any questions any suggestions or recommendations feel free to put it in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next one